We're at the funeral for my crime partner, my best true friend, Big Bob, better known as the Hawk. He was given that name by Tookie. Sending the brother on to the father. And that's a good thing because uh, every day we live is a blessing above ground. This right here, man, hurt me to my heart, man. You know, uh, he gone. Big Bob was an OG. One of the ones, with him and Justin and then who started this thing in uh, Donald Archer and then uh, when, when it broke up and got him to the, where it got into, you know, it was, uh, he still stayed west side out of the whole thing, man, but he was cool with us. I knew Bob um, 68 to 69. I'm one of the originals. Everybody knew exactly who Bob was. And when they say Big Bob, it wasn't just by name. There was big meaning to it, okay? He was true. Hey, man, I remember Big Bob uh, spitting game, man. Uh, when everybody else was talking about something else, he was sitting there spitting the game, man. They weren't paying attention, but I was, and I got me a, a, a pen and a piece of paper. I'm writing out everything he was saying. He had a album done, and the guy that produced the album took it overseas and ran off and made all the money with it, and he was discouraged. We used to talk about that all the time. And as one say, Bob had a, a, a great love for jazz, and his favorite jazz cut was Love Supreme by John Coltrane. Big Bob was the big homie, Triple OG, and we all gonna love and miss him. I'm right there off of Florence and Dinker, so he would always hit the corner when you see me and the homies out and pull the chair up on my line and give us some good game. I'm definitely gonna miss him, his family gonna miss him, in, in the neighborhood we gonna all miss him. He was a great influence in the park. You know, he did many things when he got out of prison. He didn't take it sorrow and go try to get to, to the government. He just came out and did what he had to do for his family and other people in the community. I met Big Bob in 1968, so that's, and this is 2019, that's 51 years. Bobby and I met at St. Andrews Park at a, uh, some type of, they had some type of dance there, and I met him in the summer of 1968. St. Andrews Park, uh, <laughs> that's where we spent most of our days, every day, and uh, one of my great memories, he was like my protector. Bob was a little older, so whenever we would be sitting out in front of Washington, and I see Bob pull up, I think it was a 6'4", or whatever he had, he had a Chevy, clean. And I seen him pull up, I knew I had a ride. So everybody else would be like, had to walk, but if I, when Bob pulled up, I had a ride. So he was like my rock, he was my protector. The night uh, I got word that uh, him and several others had gotten arrested uh, for a murder, and he ended up doing, uh, I didn't see him to 13 years later when he got out. Something he didn't do. When you're convicted of a murder with, with the same with another guy, and y'all become crime partners, and y'all fighting and y'all fighting this case together, and you know and you're going through these trials and these tribulations, everything's not always going to be hunky dory. We don't agree on everything, but I, like I said, our friendship stood the test of time. You know, the most nefarious test of time. We went to the pen behind a crime we never committed. At that point, that was. Uh... That put Crips on the map. So they had to, I guess they had to make it, uh, they had to make it right some kind of way, whether it was justified or not. You know, they were trying to make an example at that time. Things had started to get a little out of hand. And so they tried to make an example to no avail because it it, then it got real crazy and then they figured we'll execute Stan. So here we are still to no avail. So, you know, it takes, it takes more than we have to offer down here. It seemed like it's gonna take a higher power to combat this gang violence. To me, I'm always gonna remember Bob, not so much as an original West Sider, but I'm gonna remember him as a true friend when I met in 6th day with, along with Donald Archie and Erskine and them, but I'm gonna remember him as a, a gentle giant. One thing God has, has established in me through prison and through these streets is fortitude. You know, and uh, I can handle it because I know he's in a better place. I've lost most of my, my real confidants. So uh, I understand because we all have a day. 
And when that day comes, you know, there's no need to gripe about it. Just, just go ahead and do what it, I mean, we're going to a better place. At least, at least I pray I'm going there. I let go a few months ago. When I went and saw Bob, I want to say about two months ago, he had coded. And LaWanda called me. And that call, I just, I broke down. I, it hurt me so bad. And I went to the hospital and I saw him. He had been intubated, intubated and he was in a, almost like a comatose state. I don't know. I just think at that time, at that moment, I really felt that it was over for Bob. But he was a fighter. That was the first time he coded. This dude coded four more times after that, months later. So he was definitely a fighter. Here we are, we all gotta travel this road, you know? He lived a good life. I wish he could have been here longer. Lord knows I do. Uh, I'm truly saddened and uh, he'll be missed. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to see some people who really cared about him. And I wanna thank you, Alex, for taking out your time. Uh, for people who don't know, Alex does videos and he's always out here in the streets uh, trying to make it better, not just for, for blacks, but for all races, you know, and, and that's what counts. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Like and comment below to give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related videos to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description and listen to our weekly podcast, The Gangster Chronicles, every Thursday. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.